1975, Ravenswood High School was closed down during an era of desegregation. And students were, from this community, were bused to schools as uh, all over Sequoia Union High School District, long bus rides quite often for a very long time, hard for parents, you know, to get uh, to those schools. Um, and in 2000, um, a report that had come out in that year suggested that fewer than half of those students were actually graduating um, from high school. And so the idea for the school was to try to plan something here that would be personalized, where every student would have an advisor who stayed with them for four years and was a linchpin for the family, uh, that would be in the community, of course, that would pay attention to the whole child, uh, their academic growth, and also their social and emotional learning and development, building a sense of community. The school has, was built on and still uh, holds true to five community habits. Uh, personal responsibility, social responsibility, critical and creative thinking, uh, communication and application of knowledge, and those are, the, those are looked at and supported and encouraged and evaluated in every class, on every assignment, in every grade, and by the time students come through, they can really tell you how they have evolved in terms of personal and social responsibility and communication and all the rest. Stanford, with its resources and staff and professors and so on, bring a kind of a culture and a philosophy to the school. And, you know, and I think uh, Linda really coined a, a new phrase, charteriness, <laughs> that uh, it really becomes uh, sort of this blend of uh, the formality of the school district and kind of the creative side and, and unique side that a university can really bring to the school. So we look forward in this new partnership that we have that we're going to together develop a very, very strong and successful program that well serves this community. <laughs>